Hey guys, so uh, today we just wanted to do a quick little video looking at Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact and this is one of my favourite uh, devices from Sony so I was quite keen to check it out here. Uh, this is courtesy of the uh, concept by Sony. Uh, although I got it from XDA because the Sony installer didn't actually work with my Z3 Compact probably because I've been rooting and flashing it over the years quite a bit uh, so uh, you can get it from XDA or through the installer if you use a unmodified Z3 Compact and first things first we can have a look at the uh, differences here in terms of the user interface so you can see gone is this uh, annoying thing which used to pop up on the left uh, and get in the way and thankfully they have gotten rid of that uh, also on the actual home screen here you can choose uh, to have uh, like a different layout straight away so uh, you can go with this uh, what's called modern uh, layout uh, which uh, did actually come on to first on the device and it was really confusing what was going on because there was no app draw and I was thinking, you know, is, is Sony lost its mind here? Instead, we just had this search icon in the middle, and you click the search icon, and then you can go into whatever you want to do. So, like, for example, if you want to use the dialer, uh, you can uh, use it here. I forget what they call it on Sony now. Uh, but basically, uh, there's no app draw on this modern uh, view here. So I'm definitely thinking prefer the... Uh, old style classic uh, view here with the app drawer as you can see uh, so that's probably one of the main kind of differences here uh, we do get obviously the marshmallow uh, animations so you can see that very nice and smooth here uh, also when you're opening up stuff uh, such as things that you've not gone into before uh, you will find now and again it will come up with like a warning saying do you want this app to have uh, access to you know such and such all to do with Android marshmallows like permissions management uh, so maybe we can get something up here uh, which uh, will do it so I don't think uh, I've got anything here actually which will do it but it was doing it uh, earlier on so you can trust me uh, I think also uh, we're getting this beta feedback app which allows you probably to uh, send messages or, or feedback to someone but it doesn't seem to be working for me uh, which is interesting. Uh, in terms of the actual options we can go here and have a look at the uh, options here. You can see they've made it a little bit cleaner uh, they've moved the like themes app from here to the uh, app draw area here so if you want to put on a theme here you can still do that and usually I do use the green theme for the Z3 compact so we'll just put that on again you can see nice and quick to go on and I think also obviously on the lock screen they have removed the uh, the quick access to the dialer instead you get like uh, Google Now what is the time yeah you see it still needs a lot of work if you ask me are you stupid But as with anything, you know, it's not going to be guaranteed to work flawlessly uh, off the bat here. Uh, in, in regards to the uh, now on tap uh, functionality, I think that seems to work as well. Uh, so for those of you who know about this, basically, uh, if you're searching for something, uh, in fact, we'll just set this up quick. So... I think I've just turned it off. <laughs> Let's try that again. So, so like you are on like a web page here, and you 
want to uh, search about technology, let's go to Tech Radar. So basically, you're on technology site, and you want to find out more about this. You can use the now on tap to basically find out even more. Uh, which is quite interesting, a lot of scope for improvement though sometimes it gives me stuff which is completely irrelevant uh, we also ha obviously have the dose optimization uh, in the battery settings so if you go to the ba battery optimization uh, you'll find that all here you can select certain things to run uh, more efficiently uh, also obviously as I said earlier the app permissions you can uh, you know, uh, disable things, for example, if you don't want the camera uh, to use the camera, then I'm assuming the device will explode or something. Let's see. No, it won't explode, but it will say it doesn't have the permission to use the camera. So, uh, nice uh, fine tuning here of the, uh, you know, the permissions as well and uh, the whole device feels nice and smooth and buttery you know Z3 Compact's always been a nice uh, fast phone here uh, so it's uh, not affected the speed or anything you can see the multitasking as well although they haven't got a close all multitasking button which is quite annoying uh, I don't think there's many other wallpapers as well you can see only a few here as well as some golden old is uh, so I did do a Antutu with the latest Antutu app which is 6.0 uh, version it's like only released a couple of days ago it's completely different now uh, and you can see we're getting 52,202 which is quite nice how it compares to the rest well you've got uh, I think you've got the new devices sitting on top at the moment uh, which, if we just go back here, you should be able to see we do have uh, the uh, Huawei Mate 8 sitting on top there, but definitely not for long, I don't think, until the Snapdragon 820 and Exynos 8 series devices come along. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little video here checking out Android Marshmallow on the uh, the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. I'll leave a link in the description if you're having issues getting it on with the official installer. Uh, it should be a lot easier, I think, via the XDA route. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!